So before I review any of the newer movies, I did see some movies that I missed in theaters and some that didn't come to my theaters at all. So time to review them and the first one is Unfinished Business. Now, after hearing from a lot of people that have seen Unfinished Business, it sounds like this is one of those top contenders for worst movie of the year. And when I was watching it, I thought, you know what, this first 16 or so minutes isn't as bad as I thought it would be for a movie contending for worst of the year. But then it got worse. Unfinished Business is about a guy who's played by Vince Vaughn and... Yeah, very typical Vince Vaughn. But anyway, because he didn't get a raise for being a really good salesperson at this weird company that sells some sort of minerals or something, he quits and tries to start up a new business of that same sort of company for himself. He gets Tom Wilkinson because Tom Wilkinson got laid off, so now he's working for Vince Vaughn. And he got Dave Franco, who just went into the company for an interview and didn't get the job, of course, because he's a complete idiot in this movie. Well, after a year or so after trying to start up this company, they finally got a big hit, and someone's going to buy their products or something along those lines. I'm not quite sure what the details of this whole thing is. But all they have to do now is to go fly over to where this other company is, get the handshake, and make the deal. Well, the company he used to work for is apparently the deal breaker, and they are the fluffer, or the company brought in to just make it look like they're having a deal with that person so that they can get a better deal from the other company. Yikes. And so it's a story about underdogs from a very small company trying to make it big and trying to make this deal with this other company, and it's, it's a freaking mess. But before we delve into the bad, let's get into some of the goods, because there was some things I liked about this movie a little. Vince Vaughn's character was easily the best character of the three people. It was a little bit more developed, a little bit more complicated. A little better than the other two characters by far, but still it was a typical Vince Vaughn role. In fact, having seen all these other Vince Vaughn movies where he plays the same person over and over again, Unfinished Business felt like the most phoned-in acting Vince Vaughn has done. Tom Wilkinson was a good actor in this film. He did a pretty decent performance. He was the best out of everyone else involved. But his character was very one-dimensional and one of the worst characters in the movie. To help add more complexity to Vince Vaughn's character, they have a little bit of family drama that cuts in every so often. Now, in theory, this helps the audience relate to him a little bit better. And it's obvious that it's completely manufactured in just to try to add some heart into this film. Now, I do kind of like it. I do find it is important to the film to give it some heart and give it some sort of depth. But the way they go about it is very manufactured, very just... And it often feels out of place because it just comes in at random moments throughout the film just to say, Oh, audience, remember, he has family life. He's got a son that's dealing with the bully. He's got this daughter that's a bully herself and stuff. And, uh... Speaking of the daughter being a bully herself in one moment, that scene was actually crafted pretty well. Because in that scene, Vince Vaughn gets a phone call and he learns that his daughter had an incident in a school and there was a fight. And so he, assuming that she got bullied because his son is getting bullied, so he assumes she got bullied and he's talking down about bullies and how they're not good and stuff and how they don't get ahead in life and all this kind of stuff, and as he's saying this, um, like, his parents don't love that bully kid and stuff, and as he's saying this to try to make her feel better, she's getting a little sad, and I realize, oh my god, she's the frickin' bully in, in this scenario. 
And then after that phone call is up and he gets a, sees a video on YouTube about a bully or something like along those lines, he sees his daughter's the one bullying, and I thought, that was a pretty well-crafted scene. Now I do love the whole homework assignment that his daughter has because she has to figure out who her father is and stuff like that, and so he has to help out and try to figure out who he is. This gives us a little insight on his thoughts, it gives us a little bit of narration about him, which otherwise we would not know anything of if we just went through the story. So I think that really helped get me into this character a little bit more and make him feel a little bit more complex than usual Vince Vaughn characters. There's also a few funny moments here and there that I enjoyed and I did really think the first 16 or so minutes was a pretty decent movie. I wouldn't say good, I wouldn't say great or good or bad, it's just sort of it's okay. I don't know when the mark was because I wasn't paying attention at the time, but I know it was somewhere between the 16 minute mark and the 32 minute mark where it just goes, okay, it's an okay movie, and then vroom, just like drops to a horrible, awful movie. This is one of those crude comedies that tries to be as crude as possible without any meaning to the crudeness. It's like, let's just be crude just for the fun of it and make it funny, and it just isn't funny. The side characters are one-trick ponies. They are such flat characters that they only have one stick throughout the whole movie. They only have one joke that's repeated constantly. Dave Franco's character is an idiot, and honestly, he might be mentally challenged, because they even bring up that point somewhere in the first 30 or 20 minutes of it. And his whole comedy is that he's frickin' dumb. At least the mental impairness does make sense why he's so dumb and dumber than you would possibly think. But at that same time, it makes it hard to laugh at him because it's making us think that we should laugh at mentally challenged people. Uh, I found it really hard to laugh at Dave Franco throughout once that was revealed. And that was revealed in the first 30 so minutes. And Tom Wilkinson's joke is that he's old, he spouts off profanity like crazy, and he's a pervert. That's pretty much the whole joke with Tom Wilkinson and the whole joke with Dave Franco, and that's all they bring to the table. Also, you don't get a big sense of the two rivalries because you get Vince Vaughn's old boss in the movie, but she's rarely in the movie. So she doesn't become a antagonist, or enough of an antagonist, to, to actually care about the competition. So it's, it's really hard to feel like there's any sort of conflict in this movie whatsoever. Ultimately, Unfinished Business is a pretty bad movie that's not that funny. Crude just to be crude. Bad characters. Pretty bad acting. Well, not bad acting, just more phoned in and just sort of met acting, with a few funny moments and a few bright moments that actually has some meaning and feels like it's competent, but not enough to make it a good movie in the slightest. So I'm going to give Unfinished Business one star. Have you seen Unfinished Business? What did you think about it? Go ahead and comment. If you haven't, well, what is your worst Vince Vaughn movie? As always, this is Bruce Gifford, and this was just my opinion.